Hey everybody, Rocks of Box 90 with a bit of exciting news. We have a trailer for the next block of Magic the Gathering, which is coming out after the Battle for Zendikar block. Uh, for those of you who have not seen it yet, it is Shadows over Innistrad, which the trailer was released October 31st, yesterday. And it's quite interesting. It's very much a teaser. I'm not going to go through ver it in that detail because there really isn't much there and everything for the most part, is super speculative. However, we do see the Angel Feather. As we recall last time on Innistrad, when we left, everything seemed to be pretty much in order. Grizzlebrand was tucked away. Soren had things under control. The plane was pretty much getting back to some semblance of normalcy. Clearly, something is not normal, because you see the wing turning bloody. Maybe that's some sign of corruption or some kind of something wrong. And it dissolves over this stone, which is interesting. It's very creepy. Music's creepy. You guys, I'll put it in the description of the video. You guys can check out the trailer in all its glory with its creepy soundtrack. What's bizarre is this. You see Avacyn's symbol is kind of twisting, twisting in the wind, except this is a stone statue, cemetery-style statue, or town square statue, whatever it may be, because you see buildings in the distance. And then it just ends and says, when's it coming out? April 2016. Okay, so a couple things. One, for me, I'm confused why they chose April for an Innistrad return, given that it's generally spooky, why it's not in the fall, close to Halloween, and the winter, and so on. I don't really understand why they chose to do it in April. If you recall, the first Innistrad set was not launched in the spring. It was launched in the fall, flavor-wise. That was a win. Why in April? No clue. Can't give you that. Especially Shadows over Innistrad sounds something that would be uh, creepy. Also, for me personally, I don't know if I'm a fan of the fact that they're bringing Innistrad back, period, right now. One, it's one of the later sets, meaning it's only, I don't know, three, four, five years, three, four, five years old, not even five years old. And being that short out of standard and then returning to the plane seems very rushed to me. Usually, if they have, you know, five plus, probably even close to 10 year gap between things or seven to 10 year gap that gives enough time for new ideas to kind of percolate and for people to to try new things and for us to go to new planes and then say hmm we haven't been to a, an old plane in a while let's return having battle for zendikar into innistrad return is bizarre yes it's true and this is why i'm not you know overly upset about it is because i can see why they would have to go back to the story if you think about it we have soren is involved in the whole Eldrazi thing, and he talked about, if you recall, in the Lethomancer article, which I'll also link below if you guys need a refresher, he references how Innistrad is, is not the plane to deal with the Eldrazi. They haul off a whole discussion, they decide Zendikar is the place. Doesn't mean that Innistrad wouldn't be under threat for some reason or another. If it's connected to the Eldrazi, could be why, since Imrakul and Kozilek are not on Zendikar right now, it could be part of the reason they're bringing it back so quickly. Also interesting to note as well is that if you look at that twisting statue, the only real planeswalker with stone twisting effects that's in any way I can see connected to Innistrad, or rather any real magic, is the Lethomancer. If you read the article, you'll see that she actually pulls a sword out of stone, which is kind of makes sense. She's a, in her commander version, she's a uh, equipment-based, metal-working stone from stone person. She was that was kind of her role in stopping the Eldrazi to begin with was her stone, her ability to manipulate uh, stone and steel and so on. So it's interesting that the stone is warping and we haven't seen anything about Nahiri so far involved with Zendikar. All we know that she was not thrilled that Zendikar was chosen and I don't recall if she really popped up after that point but I've been waiting for her to reappear in the story and this could easily be where it happens. Also, you'll note the set itself, since coming out in April, uh, it's going to be something that uh, we're going to know hopefully more about really soon. For me, that's really all the speculation I have, is I think Nahiri will be involved in some way in Innistrad. And for the set itself, for better or worse, I'd personally love to hear what you guys think. Are you guys excited that they're bringing Innistrad back so quickly? Would you prefer a different plane? And if so, which one would have you, would have you preferred? Uh, and if they continue doing a return after return kind of style, uh, what's the next plane you'd want to return to? Let me know your thoughts about this. Check out, check out the trailer. And as always, stay tuned for all Magic Gathering news and spoilers and such. Rocks of Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.